What's up everyone? The day has arrived. It's the 11th eviction of the season of Big Brother 22 and it seems as though Nicole may just be trying to flip the vote last minute. So we've got so many game updates to get through. So welcome to your live feed update. Just a little heads up guys before we jump right into the updates. I will be going live on YouTube obviously at 6pm Eastern tonight just before the eviction. A couple of hours before. Just for a little bit of fun chat guys. We might have a little drink. Uh, just have a little bit of fun and just a Q and a about Big Brother and just stuff in general. So come join me guys. Uh, that You can find that in the channel and set a reminder and click the like button whilst you're at it as well guys. But talking about this video, click the like button on here please and hit the subscribe button if you haven't already guys. Straight away guys, as it is eviction day, I'm going to throw the question to you. Who do you think will be evicted tonight and who would you like to win the HOH competition tonight? Moving into the final five, let me know your predictions and your hopes below in the comment section. The day started off with Cody and Enzo talking about the rest of the house guests, basically analysing the fact that Memphis is starting to be a person that they cannot trust. And obviously with the numbers dwindling down, they really need to keep uh, maybe like a one-to-one -one sort of alliance going on. And Cody's obviously really looking out for his number one, which is Nicole. And he's got a very tight alliance with Enzo as well. But even through talking to Enzo, um, I think it's quite transparent that he cares about Nicole more because he was panicking about Memphis putting Nicole on the block to Enzo. And he was asking him a million questions and uh, he needs to just chill, just chill. Because to be honest, I think Enzo probably would take Cody to the final two as well and I think uh, you know Cody doesn't need to do further damage to his game by acting like that so just keep it chill play it cool Cody's in a great position right now he needs to potentially even be willing to cut the ties with Nicole if he wants to get to the end and win he can't sacrifice his game for Nicole because he did that with Derek and Derek ended up taking the win when if he took Victoria to the final two he would have easily won the game Later in that conversation, Enzo even brought up the notion of taking out Memphis next week. We've seen, obviously, Nicole be a prime target for Memphis if uh, he wins H.O.H. H. And uh, the vote. quite a few of them, or the majority of the house, have said that Tyler will go this week. And then Christmas is the prime target next week. But nobody said uh, Memphis yet. So, of course, things are getting shaken up. And uh, it's exactly what we expected. Chaos will ensue. And uh, I think Enzo would actually... Well, I think there's been a pattern with Enzo, though. I've got to address this, you know, with Enzo sort of saying he's making this big move. And he says he's going to do this and that and this and that. And then he doesn't really follow through with the plan. And I've got to respect it on an extent because, one, it works for his game. But I guess it's all, I know the, the, the theme that everyone says in the comments, people saying Enzo's all bark and no bite. And I guess you could say it as that. But at the end of the day, Enzo's doing what he's done for his game. And he's the only person in the house that's not a target right now. So we must be doing something right. Later in the day, Enzo and Cody talked some more and they were panicking again about Memphis. It's really playing on their minds and getting to them because they were panicking about the fact that uh, Nicole, Christmas and Memphis is maybe something that could be working together. And, uh, you know, they said that has Memphis even sort of uh, brought up the notion of a final two with either of them. And they both sort of talked to each other and they said, no, there's no final two going on. When really Cody and Memphis do have a little bit of a final two deal going on, it's still getting in Cody's head though because of this conversation. And, um, you know, as a result, I think uh, Cody panicked, Enzo panicked and they assumed that Memphis Memphis has something really, really tight going on with Christmas and they're worried that he's going to waver with the vote and keep her around next week. Then it's too late uh, to basically make a move against Memphis because him, him and Christmas will uh, steamroll. Uh, lots and lots of panic. So basically they're thinking of uh, potentially not flipping the vote. But the idea, I think, is at the back of their mind saying, let's vote out Christmas this week and take out Tyler to next week. But then the panic that Tyler would team up with Memphis and then steamroll. So I guess they've put themselves into this position by not taking out Memphis because Memphis is sort of the kingpin of one side of the house now and uh, really I mean it's probably going to be easier to take him out than it was a few weeks ago but uh, we've seen Memphis do damage time after time after time I mean let's throw it back to week two when Memphis won that H2H he did this dictatorship thing and everyone was like he's not going to last more than two weeks he'll be out over the next two weeks and then look at him now Memphis is waltzing into the final five potentially making it further than that so I think uh, they need to really uh, realise what's going on in this house right now and that Memphis is in a fantastic position and dare I say he's actually playing a quite a good game and you know I've seen quite a few, a few people, sorry, can't get my words out there, guys. I've seen quite a few people say on social media that, you know, everything else aside, and I sort of agree, everything else aside, Memphis is actually playing one of the best games. I would say him, Cody, and Enzo are playing very well. I don't think Enzo is playing the jury very well because I think a few people are starting to think Enzo could be the person you take to the final two and beat. Uh, on the outside, we see Enzo is playing one of the best games, but in the house, obviously, that's what matters, not what the viewers think on the outside. So, yeah, I would say Cody and Memphis are in the best positions to win should they make it to final two. At one point in the day, it seems it could be a turning point for the vote this week as Nicole tells Enzo that she is having second thoughts about the vote because she is so worried how, cr how close Memphis and Christmas are. So we've seen Cody and Enzo panic about this. Then we've got Nicole panicking about this. So Nicole and Enzo coming together, that's just going to 
expand and expand and expand the worry and make them very, very cautious of what they could do. Um, next week, should Christmas be around, they may feel that they are powerless and they need to strike while the iron's hot and take Christmas out, essentially. And I think uh, both nominees believe that they are staying in the house. So uh, on the outside, to us, it would probably be a blind side for Christmas, whereas we are expecting Tyler to be evicted. We just don't know. And obviously on eviction day, the feeds are down quite a lot and there's a lot more game talk that ensues whilst that happens. And, uh, you know, we've seen evictions before, you know, where uh, things have been smooth going into the vote all week long and then all of a sudden when Julie says welcome to Big Brother things have been crazy in the past over the, uh, in, in the house over the past half an hour and we don't know exactly what's going to happen tonight and everything's in chaos nobody's sat on the sofas everyone's talking it's crazy crazy stuff so that may just happen tonight we could see a blind side we could see some chaos and uh, I think the house guests are expecting it too Nicole said to Enzo that Memphis has to go next week so I think they're assuming that they could potentially keep Christmas round for one more week and potentially take out Memphis obviously still up in the air we don't know yet but I think the either sort of train of thought would be either take one of them out this week or take one of them out next week because they can't be uh, they can't be there in the final four together because then that's 2v2 makes the competition much harder and uh, again there's just um, there's so many tight alliances right now of like threes and twos that you know somebody's not going to make it to this final four and uh, yeah it's, 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 it's total uh, bedlam and chaos essentially and uh, I think uh, Nicole's assuming that she's safe all this time when she's actually at the target of Memphis next week uh, Enzo's keeping up appearances with absolutely everyone as he's done all season long very well actually uh, so I, I think whilst Enzo says he's going to make all these big moves and everything like that I think Enzo doesn't really need to win the HRH competition however I did say in yesterday's video it is a sort of um, battle to the death right now and usually when it gets down to the final five-ish or even six-ish because everyone can play in the veto competition the, uh, the best tactic is to win a lot of comps because that's the only thing that can basically confirm that you are safe or you know give you reassurance that you can live another week in the house and you know I think uh, I think sometimes if you're playing a good social game you don't need to win those comps but I don't really think anyone's playing a good enough social game to not win comps this time round I think Enzo's probably in the best position but I think the house guest view him is more of a, a sort of someone who's coasted his way along when we actually know he's played a very good social game and uh, and, and been actually in control of quite a few of the votes so far the backwards and forwards of these house guests has been constant all day long with Cody saying to Enzo, you know, what's the scenario if we do burn Memphis and take Christmas out? Uh, if Tyler wins her rage next week, what's he going to do? Then Enzo was like, we can't take Tyler. Uh, we've got to take Tyler out. Sorry, he's the best player in the house. It's just like, let's take Christmas out. Let's take Tyler out. Back forth, back forth, which tells me it's going to be chaos tonight in the Big Brother house. Nicole sat down with Cody again for two days in a row asking him what's the plan for tomorrow are we going to blindside Tyler are we going to tell him what's going on and I don't even think the need to I think it's going to be so up in the air when it comes to the vote I mean Tyler may just end up staying but uh, Cody was like no we don't tell him because I don't think he's expecting to stay Tyler is expecting to stay let's be honest he does believe he's got the vote uh, but Cody basically settled on the fact that we either blindside him or, or Nicole can tell him because I don't think Cody wants to be the person to tell him because Cody's obviously tighter with Tyler than Nicole's tighter with Tyler and uh, um, and I think as well, if Cody didn't tell him, I don't think Tyler would be offended. Tyler uh, lost to a, a one vote, obviously, in the jury last time. So I think players who've experienced that, like Danielle Reyes and Tyler, uh, who've just been... like Obviously, Danielle didn't get as many votes as Tyler, but someone who's been victim to a jury that maybe didn't vote the best player. Props to Casey, though. Casey played a fantastic game, but I think a lot of people consider Tyler as the person who should have won. They go to the jury house and they make that promise to themselves, or they really push the jury to make sure that they don't make the same mistake stick for the person sitting in the final two in their in their sort of second season where they're part of the jury so I think uh, Tyler would still be willing to vote for Cody because I think uh, he'd respect that as good gameplay uh, we saw Tyler take out Brett at the final five um I believe it was the final five or six in Big Brother 20 again if there's a final six Cody taking out Tyler so I think Tyler would actually respect the move Quickly talking about the next HUH competition, I believe Cody, Enzo and Nicole, their backs are against the wall now and they're panicking and they really want Memphis out. So in my opinion, I really do believe the person, if they won HUH, assuming Tyler is evicted, I think Christmas would be the uh, the person who makes things the most chaotic in the house. Uh, if she wins HUH, then I think Memphis would probably shake things up a bit as well since he's a target now. And Nicole, very similar, she's a target to a few people as well. So she would th shake things up. Uh, I think Enzo's the only person who would really keep the ball rolling of what we've seen over the past few weeks. So um, to pretty much sum it up, I think there's a one in four chance of the ball continuing to roll and a three in four chance of the house getting thrown into chaos. And last time I checked, three out of four is uh, de definitely more than one out of four. To sum everything up, it seems as though Tyler is still likely heading out the door, but again, very much up in the air and things could change just like that on eviction night, guys. But I'm very, very hyped for it and I hope you are too. Let me know your predictions and your hopes in the comment section below.
that is all of your game updates for today, folks. Thank you so, so much, everyone, for watching. I genuinely appreciate it. All of you coming every single day to watch. It means the world to me, so thank you very, very much, guys. I will quickly remind you that I am going live on YouTube tonight at 6 p.m. Eastern time, guys. You can find that on my channel, so just stick a reminder on there. Um, you can click the remind button to get reminded when I do go live. Lots of reminders going on there, but always good for a reminder, right, guys? Also, click the like button on this video, guys, and don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Hope you all have a fantastic evening and enjoy the episode tonight, and also, I'll also be on TV, Co app straight after the uh, the live on YouTube. So uh, lots of live stuff tonight, guys, and I, I'm looking forward to speaking to you all. Uh, so guys, enjoy, uh, enjoy the episode. As I say, have a great evening, and thanks very much for watching, everyone. Until your next live feed update, I've been your host, Tom Vasey. Good night. <laughs>